I don't know where you are, but here in Northern California, it's all potholes. Unless I'm in Germany or Switzerland, I never find good roads anywhere I travel. So to me, pothole technology is suddenly not some odd gimmick, but I think it's actually important. Some Ford vehicles, like a Fusion Sport or a Lincoln MKZ, have adaptive suspension standard. And along with continuous adjustment of damping for handling and ride quality, it can also sort of lift a wheel when it detects it's about to go through a pothole. Jag Land Rover has something similar, but not so much focusing on lifting a wheel over a pothole, but rather conforming the suspension in real time to transmit less of the pothole to the inside of the car. In Boston, they're doing something interesting. They have an app called Street Bump for the average commuter to put on their phone, and then using the accelerometers in your phone, it'll figure out if you've just gone through a pothole or a sunken manhole cover, like I just did, and then figure out where that was based on GPS, of course. Now, from what I've read, they haven't done a lot of repairs based on this information, but information in and of itself can be fun. Kansas City uses tech to spot potholes, as well as not look for them where they aren't. And if you're like me and have little faith that potholes will ever be patched up, then maybe you just need wheels to handle them better. Michelin's Acorus is a concept wheel that uses stiff rubber outer flanges that resist being ruined by the edges of a pothole, while also giving the tire sidewall a more forgiving backing to avoid the pinching that often cuts or ruins those. Or maybe you want to get paid for driving over crappy roads in the form of free electricity. Audi's been toying with a technology that would charge your car with every impact. Hey, come to California. You'll be able to set up your own utility by just driving a mile. Now, while we're waiting for all this technology to get fully baked, or you're waiting to buy a new car that might have it, you can always do the old fallback. Get on your Waze app and report those potholes and pretend someone's going to do something about it.